One bank that really isn't so much in focus on the stress tests because it is considered healthy is Credit Suisse. The company reported earnings earlier this morning. It beat on the bottom line, but uh, the market is going to give you some clues as to what investors think the shares are trading down. We partner with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg so you can get a sneak peek at the Financial Times flagship column a day early. With me this morning, live from London, is Richard Stoven Bradford. So, Richard, walk us through this. It looked as though things were perhaps better than expected. The market thinks otherwise. What's going on? That's right. I mean, it looks like a beat at a headline level. It looks as though they were pretty much in line at 1.8 billion Swiss francs um, income line. But behind that, there are a few bits of, uh, of, of maths. You've got to add back so, or take off rather some gains on own debt that were thrown in and tax credits that were thrown in. So actually, the, the numbers are, are not as impressive. They're pretty much in line. Um, shares were down 3% the last time I looked, but this is really reflecting if you like, the, the fixed income trade fall off as, as clients of Credit Suisse become more risk averse. And that comes from the uh, Eurozone sovereign debt crisis. It comes from concern around stress tests. Credit Suisse is based in Switzerland, but it's in the thick of all the European concern, if you like. Well, Richard, that raises an important question. We have seen disappointments on the fixed income trading side from any number of Wall Street firms, pretty much every single one except Morgan Stanley, because expectations were so low there. Uh, does the European sovereign debt crisis affect confidence among Credit Suisse clients, perhaps more than it does for the likes of Goldman Sachs? It seems to. I mean, the, the absolute fall in trading was about 27 percent compared to the median of about 35 percent on Wall Street. But don't forget, Wall Street's coming off a much, much higher base. And don't forget, too, that Credit Suisse is already de-risking under Chief Executive Brady Duggan. He wants to make earnings volatility lower. But what, what we are seeing is really a general general concern. In your previous comment, we, we were talking about the stress test effect on the euro, which are going to be announced if you like, after the markets closed in Europe, but when they're wide open in New York. So who's going to be shorting the euro, I wonder, tomorrow? Well, uh, that's a very good question, Richard. Brady Dugan, whom you just mentioned, also described the outlook as uncertain and challenging. That was Richard Stoven Bradford from the FT's Lex Desk in London.